Hello there everyone and welcome to XCOM 2. For those of you who've been following my channel this week, you may notice that we're back at the loading screen. I played about, oh, six more episodes of, um, XCOM, um, off screen, basically recording my uh, episodes for the week, and I realized I completely screwed up. Um, to the point where I could I could probably have pulled myself out of it, but I don't think it was going to be all that much fun. I was actually at the point where I, yeah, just just trust me on this. That game, we'll just let it go. So we're going to start again. We're going to not play the tutorial this time. So if you guys want to see the uh, first episode tutorial. Uh, from last time, I've set it to episode zero, and you can get it in the annotation. It'll be on the screen. And we are not going to do Iron Man. Definitely not. Absolutely not. Because apparently it's really buggy right now. Excitement continues to build yeah. this city so... across the globe. Prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy it's clinics be will be opening this, in select uh... cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. So this will go, if this goes into the tutorial that we've done before. A small before, number of dissidents again um, repeat the mistakes of the old world. We'll skip to episode one. A benevolent savior of time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. It's quite the art. Quite the uh what you call it, uh, jeepers. My brain is not working today. Propaganda machine they've got going. Approaching position. You were right. We've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. So, yeah, we're going to find out if anything different happens. 60 seconds. And hopefully this will also just skip that, uh, tutorial. The scripted tutorial, because I didn't check that on this time. I'd be interested to see if there's actually not that much to skip. game we'll uh, talk about exactly what went wrong we're heading into the city center to strike a big target something that will shake up the tranquil oh. utopia advent has been building all these years secure the designated coordinates and neutralize all hostile contacts interesting firebrand will be in the area for your extraction oh interesting this is a different mission neat well, and if we're lucky, this is one we'll actually be able to get away with with more of our troops intact. Maybe. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hmm. Okay. 
All right. So I've tried to work on the FPS problem that I was having. I have no idea if that's really played out yet Dennis or not. Five. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X4 charges at the designated position. Okay. All right, so we've got some charges we need to place. First of all, we need to get to the ground. So what do we have? We have four... I'm going to say four probable rookies here. Yeah, looks like it. So we're going to have to play this pretty careful. I'm on the move. All right, excellent. We're not on a timer. Roger that. So we can play it uh, with some care here. Let's see. Give you the high cover. Nice jump. Let's see. Where do we want to put you? Oh, oh my. I didn't even see you guys there. Dang civilians, the trigger will uh, reveal you, just FYI. Moving to designated coordinates. That's what I get for not being a little bit more observant of things, but. Alright, everybody on. Alt Overwatch. I wonder if they. Nope. Individual overwatches. Scanning. Scanning. Affirmative. Covering now. I'm on it. Concealed overwatches. And hold still, civvies. All right, civilians. Moving. Yeah. So my first rule in this game is going to be if I don't have to sprint, Good copy. don't Move sprint. Target. Simple as that. Because if I don't sprint, everything will be much safer. Heading there now. There they These are. These guys make up the bulk of the Advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well-equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. All right. Well, that's good news. Heading to that location. I'm going to try and set up a uh, flank for them. Scanning. Overwatch. I'm on it. Moving okay. to Overwatch. We want to be in a position to hit them from multiple sides. Let's see. From as close a range as possible. Target position now. Preferably with some high cover. Alright, you to there. Confirmed. I'm just looking to see if there's anybody else around. What do we have? We have Watchtower. Too bad we don't have any hacking robots, but. Roger that. Go and go. There we go. Orders confirmed. On the move. Alright, you're in position. Looking pretty good. Scanning. On Overwatch. Okay. Covering now. Alright. So they are stationary, which is good news. We don't have any high cover that you can grab without triggering them. Affirmative. So you can go to there. Let's see, where are they located? There's two visible from here, and there's one... Hold on. I thought there was a third one. I think we better confirm that before we get ourselves too committed. Head there now. Go. Because we do need to get as close as possible to the actual thing we want to hit. Alright, you're going to sprint, On just take move. a little risk. By the way, there's a waypointing system in here, apparently. Roger. I've got my eyes on. 
Oh, hello. There's a patrol with a commander. The advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. I think We're we'll let sure them walk a little further. Training or stricter mind control. All right. This is a safe spot. Moving to position. All right, I knew it. I knew there was a third one. Five. You're near the target position. Okay. As I suspected. Let's do concealed overwatches. Affirmative, covering now. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Eyes on the prize. We're just waiting for that Advent officer and company to move a little further on. I don't want to engage two pods at once if I don't have to. Overwatch. Eyes on the prize. On Overwatch. Come on, move on, guys. Shoot, they're not going to move, are they? Okay. If I was to pull you back, let's see. Question is, are you in a position where you can see them? Yes, you are. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a chance Rolling. on not triggering those off that officer on the first round. It'll mean sacrificing our ability to capture that second one, but... Perfect, okay. Overwatch. I'm on it. I'm on it. Roger, I've got my eyes all right. on it. Oh. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay, can you get all three of them in one shot? Yes, you can. Okay, two of them. If you move just a little, you can get all three of them. All right, let's do it. You can go to here. You're gonna throw the grenade. You stay right there. Moving to designated coordinates. Actually, yeah. All right, so you go concealed Overwatch. On the prize. Concealed Overwatch. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Concealed Overwatch. Overwatch. Grenade. Let him have it. Heads down. Catch. Nice. Ah, oh, too bad about the loot. But. Huh. That's a little unfortunate that we didn't get the loot, but I guess that's going to have to do. Let's just do an Overwatch turn here. Affirmative, covering now. Scanning. Affirmative. And then next covering turn we'll move forward. Overwatch. Okay. Alright, you're going to get high cover if you go here, and you will trigger... Nothing we can do about Rolling. it. There they are. Yeah, here they come. Okay. Okay, let's see what we can do with these twits. Understood, moving out. All right, 50%, wow, pretty bad odds on this. How about you? What do you have at your high ground location here? 54? Um... Honestly, overwatching might be better. Okay, you run to there. Moving to designated position. And you can start heading... Oop, not into the fire. Heading there now. Okay. All right, you're going to overwatch that guy from here. Moving to overwatch. You can nail the close by one with a grenade. I think and then two overwatches from the rest. Fire in the hole. Brilliant. Alright, 
you're gonna overwatch here. I'm on it. And you can overwatch right there. Got it covered. Yeah. Bring it. Okay, you got a mark. And a miss. Good. Hey, give me fire. Okay. Two misses. Good. There's heavy fire in this zone. All right. What's it going to take to get a grenade to those guys? Or especially to the big guy. You might be able to pull it off. There now. Maybe from here. Yep, that's what we need right there. So we're going to use a frag grenade to take oh! out the terrain. No? Yes. It did. Okay. Didn't it? It didn't. Oh, wow. Indestructible terrain. How lovely. I hate indestructible terrain. So not fun. Alright, we gotta be careful where we go here. Can we make a 46% or do we just need to grenade him? Could just grenade. Let's do it that way. Order confirmed. Moving out. Go, go, go. See, so 49%, so you got 50 50 chance of getting him. Throwing grenade. Beautiful. Okay. And you can come forward to here and take a shot Order at that confirmed. officer. Moving out. Nope, you're just going to overwatch the officer then. Come get some! Let's see. Hmm, where do we want to put you? We do need to take the shot, so... Closing on target position now. 26%. Not great, but I think we'll take the shot anyways. It was worth a try. Yeah, I didn't get it. Okay. Mark and Overwatch. Beautiful. There we go. Excellent. Target neutralized. Okay. Area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Menace 1 5, we have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Okay. Go, go, go. On the move! And... Plant X4. Nice. Menace 1-5. Rendezvous at the extraction point. Okay, where is it? Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating charges. Oh, nice. Well, that was, uh... Easy. Bit of a shame we didn't get our, um... Uh, that loot, but... You know what? <laughs> Nobody even took us a... Yeah. It's fine, we came out of that flawlessly. Um, which I'll take. And we'll see what... Mission we actually come in on when we get back to base. My assumption is that this mission is going on at the same time that uh, we're the, the commander's getting rescued. This is my theory, anyways. Hopefully we get the mission to get the um, ship up and running after this. Well, the FPS seems a little cleaner now. There we go. Back. Now that we're back to base, let's see where Morale it takes us is back sure up. To be high after an operation like that. Beautiful. Great work, Commander. Good job, everyone. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit. 
capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. Excellent. Ranger. Doing the whole badass thing. Good job. Who else? Got a heavy. Serving as our demolitions experts, the Grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Okay. Sweet. That's number two. Number three. We got our first sniper. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Excellent, and last but not least, a specialist. Operating Perfect. some of our most advanced equipment, specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. Okay, bingo. <sighs> nice job, everyone. And we even got out of there with the corpses. Shame about the artifact, but... I guess I got a little bit overly Commander, to nervous. The research labs. Okay, here's where we start changing our direction. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Yeah, see the uh, tutorial to my for that. Such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, Given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. <laughs> Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Okay. Research. Assign research. So, okay, so it's gonna let us... Let's see. Let's get alien biotech first, because I think that's gonna give us the advanced warfare. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Okay. Over to... Commander to engineering. Yep. Here we go. They're just sneaking us through okay. all the basics. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. <laughs> Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You were probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he project. would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here... I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. I love the rovers, the... the drones. Alright, what you do we have? You'd be surprised how big of a difference some of these things can make in combat, Commander. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need in no time. Let's just hold off on that for a minute here. 
back Tiger out. seems to have a habit of scratching that scar on the back of his head. I wonder if anyone made sure his chip was actually removed. Okay, well, with where we are right now, this is a perfect time to end the first episode of the new series. And, um, we'll see you in the next one. I never got around to asking you, Doctor, but mm -hmm. uh, what exactly did you do before the invasion? At one time, I was employed as yeah. a biochemist in the oh, pharmaceutical industry, mainly researching vaccine production techniques. Because of my background, I was rounded up by Advent and put to work in one of the very first gene therapy clinics. I saw firsthand what their technology is capable of, for better or worse. And I'd say we're lucky to have you with us. I appreciate the sentiment. Interesting conversations. Anyways, um, that's all for episode one, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.